Hi, my name is Olya Lakashna and I'm an Associate Solutions Architect here at Databricks. In the last two videos, we talked about how Databricks can connect to both DBT Cloud and DBT Core. Now you can run your DBT Core project as a task in a Databricks job. This allows you to automate DBT tasks, include your DBT project in a workflow with other tasks, and monitor your DBT transformations. Databricks Workflows is a highly reliable managed orchestrator. DBT projects with Databricks Workflows run on both SQL Pro and serverless warehouses. In this demo, we will be using the Jaffle Shop repo created by DBT and available on GitHub. It is a self-contained playground DBT project useful for testing out core DBT concepts. Let's begin. Let's create and run our first DBT Databricks job. We go to our Databricks workspace, click on Workflows, and then click Create Job. Now let's give our job a name. I will use my DBT job and let's add a task, uh, adding a task name, which is the unique identifier to refer to your task. I will say DBT task one, and it will be of type DBT. Uh, to enter the details of the Jaffle Shop repo under source, we will click edit and I will copy and paste the GitHub repo URL. And for Git reference, I will use main, but here you can use any branch, tag, or commit. Let's click confirm. Project directory is a field for an optional relative path to the DBT project directory. And if left blank, the repo root will be used. Under DBT commands, you enter a series of DBT commands to execute in sequence. By default, you will see the following three commands, DBT depths, which downloads dependencies for a project, DBT seed, which loads CSV files into the database, followed by DBT run, which runs the models in a project. These can be edited. You can also add more commands, for example, DBT test. So, uh, and, and they can also be removed as well. Next, choose the SQL warehouse that DBT executes against. A DBT profile, which contains the connection info to the specified SQL warehouse, is automatically generated for you. If no warehouse is uh, selected, such as, uh, for example, like this, a uh, profile's directory must be specified. We will choose a serverless warehouse. This enables instant compute, minimal management, and much lower cost for great performance. Under warehouse catalog, we select the top level of the three level Unity catalog namespace. Uh, for us, that's DBT catalog Olia. If catalog is not set, the configured meta store is used. Under warehouse schema, let's select the Unity catalog schema to use. In our case, that's DBT project. If schema is unset, the schema default will be used. Optionally, if you want to change the DBT configuration for the cluster that executes the task, you can edit the DBT CLI cluster. To minimize cost, we will use the default configuration. You can optionally add a list of libraries to be installed in the cluster that will execute the task. DBT Databricks should be specified as a library. DBT recommends pinning your DBT task to a specific version of the DBT Databricks package to ensure the same version is used for development and production runs. Optionally, you can also add email addresses to notify when runs of this task begin, complete, or fail. Specify the number of retry attempts and the minimal interval between attempts of this task fails and config configure the maximum completion time for this task. Please note, note here that if you configure both timeout and retries, the timeout will apply to each retry. So now let's click create. You can see that your job is created with your newly created task. Here you can edit any configurations, add triggers, create tags. Um, you can also uh, edit any permissions. Uh, also, you can add new tasks to your job. Uh, like this, and this will allow you to create a multitask workflow with complex dependencies. I will cancel this for now. Uh, to run the job, click Run Now. Your job is triggered, and you can view the task run details and DBT output. When the job is complete, you can test the results by running SQL queries from a notebook or by running queries in your Databricks warehouse. In this video, we saw how Databricks Workflows makes it very easy to orchestrate production-ready DBT projects, debug and monitor DBT transformations, and simplify infrastructure and configuration management. Thank you for watching.